What's up, YouTube? Today, I got another performance review for you guys on this solid team shoe right here. This is the Under Armour Hover Havoc 3. It wasn't the greatest, but gets the job done, right? Let's start off with the traction. We use a crazy, weird, funny line herringbone and mostly for the most part it was really solid i i, I would have almost gave this an a plus because i didn't have any slip outs until last night i got onto a super super dusty court and i just had i had one moment towards the end of, the, of a game and i just slipped out and i noticed it and i was ah uh, it was like getting shot i really as it was like man these were perfect until that and um You know, so I mean, besides that, really, really solid. It took a lot of wiping. That court was crazy because I did switch shoes a little bit after that. And the next shoe I had on was just caked with dust. So, one of the most dusty courts I've been on with this shoe. Really solid overall. Just if you keep wiping, you'll be able to handle those courts. So, our cushion obviously, it's in the name of the shoe, it's, it's supposed to be Hover. It's caged by this netting and it wasn't that great. I was expecting, you know, like a, a real bouncy, comfortable ride, like hover running shoe. And what I got was a fairly thick cushion that was pretty firm. And I, I really didn't enjoy it that much. I would get done with these shoes each and every day for like six different hooping sessions or I would change shoes in the middle of the hooping session and my feet would just be exhausted. My legs would be tired. And it's it's just like, it just reminds me of a team shoe. It's something you, you got to get used to over the whole season. Not what I was expecting from Hover. So the fit, the fit was actually really, really great with these materials, you know, mesh front and back with fuse over top. I really enjoyed the fit even with these materials it didn't run super hot at all at any point i would say it's wide foot friendly i didn't feel any squeezing at all and i did tug the laces as tight as they could go it fit me like a glove i honestly really enjoyed the fit on these and for a shoe that's 110 dollars, i really didn't expect that i would say go true to size in these our materials like i just said micro micro molded mesh back here to our regular open cell mesh up front and then fuse over top. It's ultra durable and like it avoids stains and everything. It was really cool. I like it. People were just, you know, when you get new shoes, people just tend to just step on them all the time. Like it just didn't get dirty. It still looks really good. It's a full season shoe to me. It's like, you know, when you're in high school, when you're, when you're in middle school, or your AAU team gets you that one team shoe and you have to wear it the whole season. That's what this reminds me of. And I think it has the durability to go that long. So overall, the design, I do like the silhouette. It really, it reminds me a little bit of a girl's shoe. Um, just, the, just the way it looked on foot. And you guys will see some of those, like some of that in, in the clips that I put in here. But I love the design, honestly. For $110, the materials, you get what you pay for. But with that, you also get a really, really good shoe overall that does perform. So our support, the fit, as long as you get, you know, you get your right fit, go true to size. The support's really great, honestly. Fuse, man, Fuse makes the shoe super stiff. So laterally, it's nothing crazy. You know, you're not coming out the shoe at all, like at all. The base see that in the midfoot it is pretty flat it curves up in the back here and it does you know it narrows out towards the back but it didn't feel unstable at any point the shoe really keeps you locked down traditional lacing system so it's you know it's solid it's gonna perform normally like really how you would expect it is the shoe hoopable man it's super super hoopable the only drawback the only thing that killed me was the hover 
Honestly, it was not good. <laughs> I did not have a great experience, but I enjoyed every other aspect of the shoe. A really good all season shoe. The rubber is, it's not super soft. So honestly, you guys could take it outside and you wouldn't have any problems. The fuse, it'll stand most damage that you can do inside and outside. That's it. Let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments below. Is this a shoe we're sleeping on? Do you guys think you'll pick some up? It's $110, real, really good price for a solid performance. And if you guys want to see the next performance, subscribe down below. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.